Collection pages allow marketers to add, modify, and populate elements on a page easily. Notice I'm in Pages right now, so to create a collection page, I click that blue plus button and then click Public Collection Page. Now I'm in Collections. I'll select the collection with which I want to associate the page, in this case, My Trips page. Then I select the master template and give it a title. You can see the editor here, and we'll change the title again. Now I can change different elements like the columns. I'll add a container, and inside I'll add a card to show my favorite destinations. Now I can start modifying the elements. Each mapped change will propagate to each item. Here, I want to map to content already created. I can map the titles onto different elements as well. This automation makes adding content easy. I'll just map the subtext too, for example, the location abstract. And here, if you want, you can also map the URL. The Content Dashboard is a new application you can find in the Product menu under Content. Here, you can access all the web content that is available, for example, for a campaign, across different sites. You can see information about the title, author, the type of content, where the content is stored, the status, the target audience, and target stage. A graph like this can help you analyze the gaps in your content strategy by showing who you're targeting and who you're missing. The dashboard also allows you to filter and order your content. So I could filter for just the content on my specific site, Liferay DXP, or I could filter by a category like author. I can view, edit, and get information about the content. Additionally, if you connect your platform to Liferay Analytics Cloud, you can view content metrics and performance. So as an example, if I look at the content, Canyon Somos, who we are, I can look at the views from the last 30 days as well as check other stats like where site visitors are coming from. And if I click on the eye icon on the right hand side of a piece of content, I can look at that content directly. Clicking the chart icon at the top here as well gives us the same data. If you want to build fragments on your own that don't come out of the box, you can use fragment compositions. Here we have new layout elements called the container and the grid. I'll drop the grid onto the page, and then I can add more basic components to build out the page. So now, if I click on the three vertical dots for the grid, then click on Save Composition, I can save what I've built. I'll call it My Image Gallery. I can provide a description, save inline content or mapping, and save. Once we've done that, if I scroll down to Saved Fragments, I can drop my new fragment composition, My Image Gallery, onto the page and reuse it on any other page I want to. This way, you don't have to start from scratch. You now have two new tabs for SEO and Open Graph. When you click on SEO, you can customize the HTML title, add a description, use a custom canonical URL, and check out a preview of the site in a search engine. So if I notice from the preview that my description is too long, I can modify it to make sure the search results show what I want. If I go to Open Graph, I can set a specific image, title, and description tailored for social media platforms. Looking for more on 7.3? Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to stay tuned for more in-depth feature videos.